guys, it's Elisa and welcome to Tip Thursday. So this Tip Thursday is going to be a combination of a Tip Thursday and a tag. So I kind of leaked this tip out last week because I was going to do it last week, but I had to go out of town because I was invited to this party, yada, 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 and now it's Thursday already. So this is a really simple tip and trick and I really want to do it because I got a lot of questions about where to get a makeup sponge. So one of the things that I learned, kind of like going to salons and things like that, is a makeup sponge like this works great as well and then I'll do like a quick little demo so you can see but these are the things that they tell you to throw out when you do your makeup you buy like Maybelline L'Oreal or whatever brand and one of these come with it so you just take this and you just dip it the same way you do with the makeup sponge just use the eyeshadow one and you could do like French tips you could do like the chevron you do all kinds of stuff another good item you can use is masking tape that's something that I used growing up when I was little because I like to do little like zigzags and things like that so there's your tip Thursday and hope you guys try it out so you don't waste these little sponge thingies right here because I mean they cost money right so let's use them also you can buy them at the beauty supply store but it's cheaper to buy the triangular ones but if you have these already, might as well use them. This one, I don't know where it came from, but it also came with like a lip one, so it's a little fancy. And thank you so much for watching Tip Thursday. I'm going to go into my tag video, and then I'm going to do a giveaway too, so stick around. So this tag is the no makeup tag, which I thought was perfect because I just got out of the shower, and then I had dinner, and here I am. I just put on some of my fun jewelry, so I have little accessories going on. And that's it. So let me get into this tag. All right, here we go. Um, questions. Scouts honor that you aren't wearing any makeup. I'm not wearing any makeup. I have moisturizer and chapstick on because my lips are really dry. And I think the light's really bright in here so I look a lot better than I normally would. But I don't have any makeup on. I just have my glasses. This is what I look like pretty frequent. What is the one makeup product you can't live without? So makeup product is probably skincare like a moisturizer but like if it's makeup color wise, blush. I can't live without blush. I love cream blushes. I don't know, they're just so fun and I can just use it all over the place. So I can't live without cream blush. There's a lot of them that I really like. I usually use MAC or Stila. So those are the two brands that I usually use. What is the one makeup product you can live without? I can live without mascara if I have my false lashes. Mascara is not a big deal to me because it doesn't really work. Um, I think that's it. Everything else I gotta have. Oh, you know what? If a lash curler counts. I don't need a lash curler either. Those are totally useless to me. Do you feel confident without makeup? That's a really good question and I do now. I did it in high school. This is turning into another one of those videos. <laughs> okay, so in high school it was very hard. Like breakouts. I'd rather wear a foundation that didn't match than not have any makeup on at all. Like it was so crucial for some reason because I had acne, you know, the occasional like huge huge squirt in the mirror types of zits and things like that. So I really didn't feel confident. And I, I think it was because I had a lot of pressure around me to do something about my acne. Why do I have acne? It's so ugly. It's so gross. And when you're growing up and it's something that's new and within, you're like, I don't know what's going on. And you just feel very insecure about it. But now I usually don't wear makeup like when I go out. So sometimes I run into you guys and I'm not wearing any makeup. I'm like, how do you guys recognize me? <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. Busted. I really don't wear makeup all the time. Makeup isn't something like you absolutely have. There's so much more to life. Like, yes, it's life changing and it's amazing and it's wonderful. But when you put it on, I think you should be just as confident without it. That's why I think I kind of do these videos without it sometimes. I'm like, mm, this is me. And... Oh, I should talk about my glasses. Okay, uh, let's see, the next one. Which part of your face do you like the most? I would say my lips, because I can wear all kinds of different colored lipsticks, and I don't know, it's just like really fun. I don't really look at my features and go, yeah, I like this best. It changes daily, you know? It's one of those things. And where is the one place you will never go without makeup? The makeup show, because it's really weird, because you're like, hi, I teach makeup. No, I'm not doing, wearing anything. I just kind of rolled out of bed. So that's one place I won't show up without makeup. And maybe someone's wedding because it's not very nice to look like, you know, kind of like I rolled out of bed. But pretty much grocery store, the mall, I don't know, see my parents, pretty much everywhere else. I can just go roll out of bed and go. Would you rather go without makeup for a week or let your husband do your makeup for an entire week? Well, that's easy. I don't have a husband, so he can't do my makeup for an entire week. 
Um, I would rather go without makeup for a week because that's kind of like normal. Like if I go to the shows or I do a lot of tutorials and things like that, I take a break from it and give my skin some time to breathe. So it's very normal. And I, I had to kind of wean off of foundation because it was one of those things. So growing up, my mom always said, don't wear foundation, you know, don't pencil in your eyebrows and things like that. Or don't like draw too really, or don't really, or don't draw really dark, dark eyeliners and stuff like that because then you get used to it and then when your makeup's off you look all sleepy and weird kind of a thing and so I didn't want to do that and so that's why I was very careful not to get used to how I look with makeup on and then um and then the high school thing I started putting on a whole bunch of foundations and then in college because I had so much other issues and stress and things like that I just kind of started to do like the lighter cover to tinted moisturizer to like literally rolling out of bed and going to school. So was this one of those things where you just kind of ease into it where if you're somebody who has to wear makeup all the time but you know you shouldn't because you need your skin to breathe, then do it like once a week, half a day, and just kind of build up and then every other day and kind of thing. And then eventually you're just going to be like me and be like, I don't give up. And then you do whatever you want to do and you wear whatever you want to wear. Okay, so that was my tag. This one's okay. I don't know. This one wasn't as like super fun as the ones I've seen or I have to do coming up. So thanks you guys for tagging me in these tags and I am working my way through them. So the next thing is my store is open and I'm so excited. It's like official. I moved over to a new site. It's all bright and pretty and we have some introductory offers on there. My ring is on there. It's this really cute bow ring and it says Elisa Jade on the side. It's a little pink one. And then I have my lip necklace and I also have a bundle because there's three pretty colors, the light pink, the fuchsia, and the red. So I have a bundle on this one. And so you can check it out. You can use the code free ship, And that's going to be free shipping for the next few days for the U.S. So I'm really excited. Thank you so much, you guys, for all the support. Like at the makeup show and everything. I kind of was a little quiet about my store because I didn't have an inventory. Because you guys are so amazing and cleaned out at the makeup show. But if you guys are at IMAT in Pasadena. We're going to have a booth number 219 across from Crown, so I'm not too far of my family. And I'll be jumping back and forth from there. So you guys can check out my booth there. I'll have the products there. Not everything's going to be at the show. Um, just depends on what's going on and things like that. But definitely check out elisaj.com. Check out my designs. And I'm doing a giveaway. So this is my latest design. I'm super excited about it. A lot of you guys are telling me that you were looking for something a little bit shorter, a little smaller lipstick necklace. So here it is. It's so cute. And it's red because red is like the first color that you see in the rainbow so it's really eye-catching and I know a lot of makeup artists pick this up and that's a great conversation starter to kind of help your business and that's kind of what I wanted a lot of the products to be is a conversation starter especially like if you're a makeup artist people will ask you and then you know strike up a conversation so this one right here is a lipstick and it has a cute little pink bow right here and then it has the big bow so check out my store lisaj.com and I'm doing a giveaway for one of these. So below in the comment, let me know if you ever wear red lipstick. That's it. And if you do, let me know which is your favorite. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more videos. And then I'm going to have my video up hopefully tomorrow, the natural one from yesterday's video. So don't forget to check that out. So my camera just cut out. But I want to say thank you so much to everybody for commenting on yesterday's video about imperfections. And of course, as I always say, that you should love yourself because if you don't love yourself, no one else will. So it starts from within. And thank you so much. And I will definitely work on a tutorial on the uneven eyes. Like I have to wear certain glasses. Like this one right here is really good because it kind of masks it. But sometimes when I wear certain glasses, like my eyeball is literally higher like like this <laughs> so I gotta be careful when I wear certain glasses too but anyway thank you so much and I really appreciate it keep the comments coming let me know what you want to do for a heart-to-heart -heart video next and I will talk to you guys later bye